All right, so now we're going to talk very quickly about backing up and restoring data using the Windows Backup Utility. The reason I say quickly is because, you know, the concept of backing up my, uh, my workstations is really pretty straightforward. It shouldn't be uh, uh, as difficult or convoluted as it is for a server strategy where you have to worry about downtime, availability, access, uh, disaster recovery, um, that type of stuff. Uh, it, the Windows as your workstation, and I hate to say it, isn't as high on the totem pole of importance as a large server would be for my uh, network. But we still have tools because it is important as a home user that you have uh, the um, understanding of how to do backups, how to do restores, whether you're at home or whether you're, you know, uh, using it as a workstation at work. Now, your backup and restore tools, like I said, are really straightforward. You can use um, the, the Windows backup tool to basically make a backup, which is a copy of your data files. And then if there's ever an issue, you lost a file, you can simply restore that uh, file, that data file, or even your system uh, file back to the machine. Depending on the way in which you do your backups, you can even restore uh, your computer system files to an earlier point in time. Um, and that's, again, it's, it's just a way of what am I trying to back up. So your data backup is just recovering your data files. Your system backup is trying to recover the operating system in its configuration so you can put it back as a restorer, basically uh, repairing whatever was been, uh, whatever failed. Okay, if you have some older drives that aren't formatted with NTFS, the backup won't work. I, I shouldn't say it won't work, it just won't do it. It doesn't like FAT. FAT32. It only wants to back up NTFS. Does that mean you're out of luck? And the answer is absolutely no. You can then do a, an image backup. Now, an image backup is basically copying the drives as you required them to be uh, copied, and it's gonna, it should start it from sector zero all the way through. And finally, on some of your backups, you may create what's called a system recovery disk. Now, in the old days, 10 years ago, we used to have bootable recovery disks, bootable DOS. Um, you all remember DOS, the disk operating system? A little floppy drive, you pop it in, you boot up the computer, it boots off the floppy drive, and then you had some basic commands that you could use to try to uh, do some recoveries. And then there was an old uh, R disk, rescue disk, that you could make uh, that still was on a little floppy that you could use with the CD-ROM to bring the system back to life. Well, similar ideas. We have the system recovery disk, so why bother making it? Uh, one of the biggest reasons we have a system recovery disk is because it has the bare bones uh, necessary information to boot up your system, and it also has settings and information unique to your system that you'll probably need to help recreate and reboot your computer. So you can also use the tool to create a system recovery disk in the event that you need to uh, uh, recover your system and not just re-image the system. Well, we're going to uh, take a look at backing up and restoring some files. Uh, and we'll start by opening up our uh, new method of seeing Windows Explorer. And on the C drive, I will uh, uh, create a new folder here. And uh, I'm going to call this an important files folder. And of course, you know, most of you spell it with two T's, I guess. There we go. And uh, in that folder, I'm going to create a new important file. And open that file up. Come on. There we go. And say, uh, this is top secret. Please stay out. Perfect. OK, so I'll close and save. And uh, now the idea is to back this stuff up. So I'll go to Start and uh, Programs. And let's go to Maintenance and do the Backup and Restore. Now here you can see that I have not uh, done any backup yet. So I'm going to set up the, uh, the backup. Waiting for it to, uh, to go through this little process. Okay, so now we uh, we have this set up, and you can see that it's got some uh, some options here. Choose guides for uh, where I want to save my backup, and I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, backup on this. Uh, uh, I guess this shrink me, and it's just warning me that that is a dynamic disk. But I'm going to go ahead and keep that as my option. And I'm going to then say, let me choose. So I'm going to choose what I want to back up. 
and I'm going to turn off all of this stuff, all these libraries, and go to the um, important files and folder uh, that I'm going to back up. I'm also going to take uh, off the system image of the drive, so I'm making it a very easy backup. But, and you can see it's a fairly easy um, GUI to use. And uh, another warning, there's no EFS certificates in, with this backup, but I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, doing any type of encrypted file there. I will save the settings, run the backup. Waiting for that process to go. And uh, at the end of the backup, of course, when I'm done, we will uh, use it to restore a file that may have been uh, in that backup process. If I click on the view details, you should be able to get the, uh, the uh, information. It's uh, talking about what's going to be coming up. The backup size you can see is 5.2 um, kilobytes, which is uh, very small because that's about the size of the file that I had. All right, I'm going to minimize this window. Now I'm going to delete this file. All right, so I've lost my important information. Now let's go take a look at uh, doing the restore. So now I can do the restore my files. And uh, I can browse for the files, which is here, the important file folder, the important file, add that into this, click next, put it back in the original location, restore, and now my files have been restored. I can close this down and my important files back and I feel good that I saved the day. So that was the, the use of the backup and the restore. And uh, hopefully you saw that it was fairly straightforward, very intuitive.